Hi, so welcome back. So, does it ever feel like you're taking one step forward and a hundred steps back in your training job? Uh, I know I've been in that situation before. I know clients I train have been in that situation before. It seems like you're on a high for a bit, you get success after success, and then all of a sudden it's like your dog has forgot all training or they've decided to become, have this stubborn streak in them that they haven't had before or it's just out of the blue they just decided I'm not doing it and it seems like that training that you've just succeeded in is like I say 100 steps back uh, what I want to say is that's normal in any sort of training dogs can be like kids they can be stubborn and they can also regress back uh, it can be hormonal stuff uh, also then just like say hitting puberty and issues around the behavior for that day if they're feeling happy or sad but what i want to say to them this one it's only going to be a short video it's the key point here is don't fret don't worry this is only momentarily this is only in this moment now and it's not going to be permanent it's not going to be forever you just have to see it in the moment and if you feel like you're doing your training you're not getting anywhere you, you so you, you get trying to get them to a command or a certain way to walk or if you've got any sort of anxiety or aggression you're trying to train that through it uh, if you had to train like myself or someone else did and you're trying to follow through a training plan uh, just realize it's only temporarily and if you temporary and if you're getting stressed just stop the training just get stop the training and walk away make yourself a cup of tea make yourself a coffee uh, I mean if you're all fancy a latte uh, just basically the gist is just just move away from that situation stop doing the training uh, maybe just ignore your dog for a couple of minutes and I'm not being I don't mean to be mean in that way I'm saying is you just need to get out of that situation because the more you're getting angry the more you're getting frustrated uh, with the training that you're doing your dog gonna vibe on that dogs are really great body language experts but they're also good at vibing they'll vibe off your energy they'll know if you're feeling happy they'll know if you're feeling sad stressed and frustrated and they'll take advantage of that not purposely it's just in their nature that's how the how, how they respond and it'll just get you more wound up and that training won't go anywhere and that can be sometimes when you ring the trainer up saying i've not had i've had i've been doing this this is this and the training's not working uh, you just need to step out of the situation and you'll notice if you step out of the situation come back with it with a fresh mind uh, it will start to work the training will go somewhere and you'll realize that little break that you and your dog your dog has had uh, now you're getting that success and it, you'll feel positive from it and your training will go and your training will become much more uh, you have much more success in your training the more you do this method because uh, you're not getting frustrated and you're not carrying on when, when it's seeming like you're not getting anywhere so yeah that's all i want to say today if you like the video click below and like it uh, there might be some fancy things at the top and corners i feel special when i want to edit the youtube videos uh, but apart from that keep on training keep on being positive uh, keep on being the most important one you're going to hear this in a lot of videos is consistency so with whatever training method you're doing, if it's not mine, if you're doing other people's training methods, is please be consistent. Consistency is key. I know with my training method, consistency is one of the main important things. Uh, but apart from that, have a great day and I'll see you on another video. Talk soon.